Well, it's been just a few days since Christmas, and I'm sure that you're making plans for your new year. It's good to talk to you again. Um, I thank you for those of you who came out to worship on Christmas Eve. It was so good to see you all and to be able to lift our spirits and sing the songs. For those of you online, you know that. You had that experience too. The good news is Jesus Christ has come and we can live in that joy and no matter how weary the world may be, we are a people who can rejoice. And I rejoice with you and I rejoice about you. Um, I also just want to remind you, we are coming near the end of the year. It's December 31st. If you postmark a gift to the congregation, you can get that in on your statement for the end of the year. But also just a reminder that if you want to make sure you give right on time, you can do that anytime at redeemer.net slash give. Again, we so appreciate you. You make ministry throughout the year happen. And even in this year that's been so challenging, your generosity has allowed us to do beautiful ministry here at Redeemer, changing lives and helping people to follow Jesus, the one who Christmas is all about. Also, just wanted to let you know that we are going to, you should be getting some messaging on this email about um, the Christmas gift that we gave for you. It's a gift that really will keep on giving throughout the year. It's a subscription to Right Now Media. It's like a Christian Netflix. And actually the real God is on Right Now Media. There's instructions on how to be involved with that, how to get your subscription. It's got things for kids, older adults, Bible studies, all types of things. And so I really would encourage you to make sure that you make good use of this gift. Like I say, it's a beautiful gift that we'll uh, give throughout the year and it won't be discarded right after Christmas. I started out about seeking God last week. During the Epiphany season, uh, we talk about the wise men who came and they sought Jesus Christ and we still do that. And when you find God, one of the things that you're gonna learn about him that's characteristic is he is good. That comes through every scripture that you see in the Old Testament and the New Testament. Throughout the Psalms, there's a refrain that says, oh, give thanks unto the Lord for he is good and his love or his mercy or his loving kindness, however you say it, endures forever. No matter what happens, or has happened in 2020 or is going to happen in the new year, we know no matter how bad it may be, we have a God who is good and he's working all things together for the good of those who love him. That's what we do as we go forward in trust and faith. Also, I do want to let you know that our principal elect Sean Hoffman and his wife Julie and his four boys are going to be down with us, worshiping with us on Sunday, January the 3rd, this coming Sunday. And I hope you get an opportunity to greet them if you're here in person. And we just look forward to his decision. He says he hopes to have a decision whether he'll be coming to Redeemer by January the 10th. So please keep the Hoffman family in your prayers. Um, I'd like to pray. Lord, today as we get ready to go into a new year, um, we first of all want to say thank you. Thank you for being with us in such an evident way through 2020. It was a tough year, Lord, for so many of us. But Lord, you have been faithful and you have been good. And Lord, we trust that. We trust that for the new year. We look forward with anticipations to vaccines um, being really sent around the, this country. We look forward, Lord, to what you're going to do. And Lord, we look forward to what you're going to do in our lives as you help us to follow you, to follow you into our homes, our families, and our communities. We ask that all in Jesus Christ's most holy name. And Lord, remember the Hoffman family on their journey here and also in his contemplation about being our next principal. In Jesus' name. Amen.